All right, so, you know, tying on a 35 millimeter flyman shank here, putting on some five to seven inch white schlopping feathers. Um, tying them in pretty long, probably full five inches on those guys, and then some holographic flash, probably six strands, seven strands total. Maybe not that many. Four strands, doubled back over itself so it can't get pulled out and trimmed to different lengths, you know. And then this is some uh, UV polar chenille. And I'm wrapping that forward while the glue is still drying, trying to make it as indestructible as possible. And then I'm going to reverse tie some white bucktail on here. And I probably did this bucktail maybe, I don't know, half an inch too long. But, you know, hindsight here. So make that half an inch shorter, but reverse tie that. It's pretty sparse. I'm just using it to support this uh, the flash material that I'm going to polymer one full time over top of that. And I forget the name of this flash material. I don't really remember. Maybe like big game flash or something like that. But I don't know. Any kind of flash will do. It's not too long. It lands about halfway down the schloppen. And I kind of trimmed it a little bit earlier to different lengths so it's not all super uniform. And then just hit that with some head cement and you're good to go. And then I'm articulating this on a 2 watt B10S. It's just something I had laying around. And then I'm going to put two dubbing brushes on here. Um, one's a three inch EP Foxy brush, which is the white one. And then the other one's an anadromous, an anadromous brush in the orange, which is basically just a flash brush. And if you palm them pretty aggressively, they have this awesome breath to them in the water and they hold their shape and their bulk really well. And I'm gonna use them to support some craft fur here. Um, and they shed water really well in the back cast. And I got that idea from Rich Strollis on his uh, Chinese Dragon video, which was pretty awesome. So, been trying to find ways to incorporate that into some flies. So this is what I came up with so far. But I'm going to put on some craft fur here, reverse tie it, kind of get it as even as possible here. And I'm actually going to do uh, two layers of craft fur, and I'm going to trim these butts real quick. But the second layer is a bright orange. And that first one was chartreuse. I like to do contrast in my heads you know anything to trigger them to eat that front hook just keeps it easy that way but throwing on that second layer and then I was gonna <laughs> I was gonna try to bring my thread through but it was kind of a pain in the butt so I just threw some super glue on there and welded that off and then we're gonna reverse this and you're gonna use um, deer hair to force all that craft fur backwards so gonna add some bulk in here the deer hair head is just this is just body hair um, nothing special. It's actually pretty crummy, crappy <laughs> deer hair. <laughs> but use what you got, you know. Um, it's a little tricky with the clip on there, so try to get it in a way where it's out of your way. And I just simply spin this, and I use about half the amount of hair on the collar as I do on the head. So the head's twice as much hair, so it's pretty sparse. Um, just just putting it on there so that it kind of cleans up the fly and forces that stuff backwards. And you can see I left the butts in. I wasn't too worried about it. They were pretty short. And then you just double up your head material there and spin that around as evenly as possible. I'm throwing a half hitch and then I'm going to cut off that thread and put some glue on there and pack that back to kind of give me a flatter profile on the head so it pushes water and cleaning up the eye so I got no glue in there. And then for trimming this, I tried to cut that deer hair basically at the length that I needed it for the head right that way I don't have to do extensive trimming I just have to even it up so I kind of just do a first round and make it look as good as possible look at it from the front and then clean up whatever needs to be cleaned up and if you got rounded scissors that seems to help um, so yeah there you go the sushi wrangler um, it's about seven inches close to about 16 centimeters articulated pike fly so it's pretty small I think it'll be money in the springtime and it's got that nice deer hair head and beautiful beautiful so check it out at my website it'll probably be in the custom flies if you like it um, and after this spring maybe I'll throw it up for good but that's all she wrote